like uh, you know, some are are housebound, or it's just very difficult for them to get to appointments. Uh, I don't know um, how many clinics there are in the Do you do you know? Or? I can list them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then we can count them. Um, Curry. Curry. Yeah. Senior Senior Services, yeah. and they do home visits. Oh, okay. um, good. And Tom Waddell. Mm -hmm. uh, over on Golden Gate Avenue, they're a public health, a big public health clinic. Yeah. Uh, St. Anthony's has a free clinic. Mm -hmm. There is a clinic at Collide, Hotel Tenderloin, Tenderloin Health Services. And there's API Wellness mm -hmm. uh, Center. Um, I'm not forgetting. Is SF Living Room working there? I'm sorry? SF Living Room? Is no, the they don't have a health uh, component. But, um, and then there's a number of uh, programs for um, people, uh, methadone clinics, and they do a little bit of primary care for people that are on methadone. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's this, it for this immediate. There is some stuff south of Market on 7th Avenue, or 7th Street, there's a big clinic on 7th Street on South Market. Yeah, but we need things in the avenues, we need, we, as well as, I mean, you know, it's like I say, my friend lives in the avenues, and the, like I said, the only person she could get was somebody that wanted to visit her four times before she'd give her a, yeah. a flu shot. Yeah. And that didn't, yeah. wasn't right either. Yeah, I know UC has some clinics out at Lakeside Plaza, and Chinese is opening something out in the sunset, a big clinic out in the sunset, Chinese health plant, which doesn't just serve Chinese people. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, navigating healthcare is is in itself difficult. You know, we have a um, a person in our emergency department that just helps people understand how to navigate their own healthcare system. Because mm -hmm. you know, we get a lot of people that use the emergency department because they're not able to navigate their own system, kind of like you're describing. Mm -hmm. And I will say that TL Hip has been very valuable for, for Bodecker Park, as mm -hmm. you said, because when Friends of Bodecker, when we were imagining, visioning the new park, uh, we weren't sure about the programming. We wanted programming, the park open seven days a week. That was a dream that would be open nine to six or seven, seven days a week. Uh, I personally thought this is just not going to happen, but if we could get five days a week, because it's not the model for Rec and Park to have a clubhouse uh, open uh, like it is. But anyway, uh, with advocacy and, and then finally with TL HIP coming in also and providing funding, I mean, it gets down to money, and uh, so that we could have full time staff uh, with the, through the Boys and Girls Club. And then, of course, the Y moved in also, but Monday through Friday. And then Rec and Park was willing to come in on the weekend. And so they do the programming on the weekend so that we could have the park open seven days a week uh, all day. I think it's, it, to me, it's a miracle. <laughs> and uh, I'm just so pleased that it could happen. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you, thank you for it. Yeah, it really takes a partnership. That's for yeah, sure. very important. Yeah, I think you know, having people really, you know, one of the things that we try to bring is, is the relationships and data and you know, the ability to sort of write the convincing argument, but it doesn't go anywhere without the people in the community really, yeah. really, you know, you know, you've been at this for many years, Betty, and it's just, it's just really our, you know, honor really to be able to come in and help people do what they, yeah, do what yeah, needs all, to be done. We all work together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I know we're, we're beginning that process with Macaulay mm -hmm. Park now. Um, oh, good. You know, is another area. Um, we did a little field trip the other day. I was just thinking it would be fun to that um, we should have invited you to go along. We went over to Richmond, where they had this thing called Pogo Park, that um, was all designed and built by the residents. Oh. It's totally fabulous. I mean, it's just such a unique, cool design, and and you know, it's in this area of Richmond that's really was really blighted. It's a very difficult community, and. and Literally, almost all the houses have now been bought and are fixed up, and the residents live. And they, they're this is this is the thing that really floored me. Their fence is this big, mm. oh, wow. and I said, "How can that be?" And they said, "We're watching out the window. Mm. They keep an eye on them, you yeah. know, and they just yell out the window. If somebody's in there doing something they shouldn't be doing. It was just, <laughs> it was just oh, it was amazing. Yeah. amazing. So you know, it's just it's great to be able to." 
continue just to foster all those great ideas and energy that, that exist in these communities and just is kind of somewhat oppressed or suppressed by some of the negative activities that goes on. Thank you for having us. Get to know about you guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll sh uh, share and showing, we got, wrote a pretty extensive white paper on the work that we're doing, and um, we brought a few copies if you're so interested. And um, let me. Okay. Uh, would you hold up the copy of the of the that for? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you can find it on the website. And do you have a copy of that on the website as a PDF? Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm going to just do some announcements because uh, uh, I think this is, you know, this is the last of the presentations. Yeah. Um, right. The police station community meeting is Tuesday, February 23rd at 6 p.m. here at 301, no, this is 301 Eddie, oh yeah, this is it, yes, 301 Eddie, for more details, call Sousa Black at 345-7300. Tenants Association Coalition meets uh, Tuesday, March 8th, 6 p.m., 230 Eddie Street, call 339-8327. Tenderloin, the next Tenderloin Futures Collaborative will be on Thursday, March 17th, 11 a.m. here, 301 Eddy Street. Call 820-1560. Okay. Um, thank you very much, and um, we are now adjourned. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Okay. I almost Sorry. wasn't. <laughs> okay. Oh.